Okay, let's have a look at Returno, which simply by rebooting you can undo changes that have been made to your computer. Now this works on Windows XP 2003, Vista, Server 2008 and Windows 7. Select your language and allow it to install. Just follow the prompts. Now this creates a virtual system. Now once you've installed it you will need to reboot. Now there's several versions of this. There's the Home Free, Home Lux, Home Classic, Enterprise Premier and Enterprise Classic. Now most of you will probably use the Home Free version. If you're going to upgrade then upgrade to the Home Lux. Uh, the home versions are free for non-commercial use. Now the free version does not include the full system anti-malware scan, file manager, access to the real disk, lost license recovery and return ill commander which is remote management. It does include a virus guard which provides real-time blocking, removal and detection in both the virtual and real system and through a simple reboot any infection you have downloaded you get rid of. Now I'll cover this in a second video. Uh, it also has system safe which is the virtual system, the virtual disk, you can password protect it, it has file protection, uh, forgotten password recovery and desktop toolbar which you may or may not like but the desktop toolbar you can turn on or off and we'll cover that as we go through. Once it's installed simply click finish. Once you've done that you then need to just fill in your name and email so I will just fill this in And get it right. And click next. Now you have the option then to perform a quick scan of the system, which is a good idea. Data collection policy, you can report anonymous information and parts of malicious programs for analysis to Returnal's research team, which is recommended. You can also select to ask for approval or to not collect any malicious activity. Click next and it will do a quick scan. It will update, initialize the scan and then do the scan. And this will take just a couple of minutes. Now this program creates a complete clone of your hard drive and you work in that cloned version. So if you download anything you don't want, you simply reboot and it's gone. You also have the option to save it. And it also creates a virtual drive on your system where you can store items that you've downloaded and it's quite useful it's quite easy to use now the scans complete click next click finish and you will then be prompted to reboot to initiate the initiate the program once you've rebooted you come back you'll have the return L icon on your desktop and you'll also have a small green shield in your system tray if you click show program, oops I messed up there, show program, you have the virus guard, system safe, tools and status. The first thing you want to do is click on tools. Now the file manager and access real disk do not work in the free version. Virtual disk, the default drive is Z and you need to create it. And click OK. And this will take just a moment or two. Now it's created the virtual drive which is managed here at Z. If you go to system safe, drop all changes which is recommended. And you can also enable system safe when you start Windows. And you can also mount the virtual drive when you start Windows. You may find this slows you down a little bit so be careful with this. Click enable now, click OK. 
and the protection mode is then initialized and you're ready to serve. So it's in session, it's easy to use. Virus guard, you can activate file protection and define a list and these will be excluded. And that's it, it's set up really. Now if we go to my computer, as you can see, here is the virtual drive. And it'll just sit there until you dismount it from tools, dismount. As I said, you can mount it when you start Windows and system safe. You can also enable system safe when you start Windows. If you've got multiple users, you may want to do this. Uh, this just means that the virtual system will be on every time you boot. You can also save all changes to your real disk. Be careful using this. And you can shut down and restart at any time. Just click here, shut down and restart. Status will show you everything you need to know. Your license details. Click here, you get the details. It's been activated, you will have received an email. And you just click on the link and new license has been assigned and delete it. That's it. If you click on the preferences tab, show the tray icon. Do not show hints in the tray icon. Show the desktop toolbar. Now here you can change the transparency, which I'll show you in just a moment. You can set a key sequence to open the interface. If I use Control, Alt and F1, the skin and language, you have the default for the skin and the language. Again, you can change it. You can reset common warnings and notifications. Administration. Here you can password protect it. And options enable system safe without a password, allow file manager for users without a password. Virus guard. In most cases you want to leave these as they are. You can exclude files and folders from the scan. System safe. Disable the virtual system in Windows safe mode. Do not uncheck this box. Wipe all disk changes at computer startup. This may take several minutes. And percentage of free disk space used is 50%. Communication, allow remote control. Verify connection. If you use a proxy server, enter the host, the proxy port, and authentication, username and password if you need it. Advanced gives you the installation ID. And that's it set up. And what I will do, I will come back and make another video and show you how it reacts with malware. So if you want any more information and you want the download links, check out my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.